question. Plus, bowling for just $3 a game. That's just one of the selling points at your pick for Minnesota's best bowling alley. And then... Now that the weather is getting colder, many of us will be switching to indoor activities. Like bowling. So this week, we asked for your help in finding Minnesota's best bowling alley. Matt Brickman is live tonight at your pick. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. You're bowling with a tie on. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I always got to look good for you, Frank. We are at Cedar Vale Lanes in Egan, which is your pick for the best bowling alley in Minnesota. League play did finish up a little while ago, but we have some open bowlers out here with us. But before I hit the lanes for this story, I thought it was important to channel my inner dudeness. All right, Scott, I'm ready. Can you hook me up? You got it. Just dropped in to see what condition my condition was in. Cedar Vale Lanes is a place of which the dude would most certainly approve. You said it, man. It started out as a 24 lane center back in 1979, and then in 1980, there were so many league bowlers, and bowling was very popular at, at the time, that uh, the, the previous owners decided to add in another eight lanes. That was a good idea because league bowling is still huge at Cedarvale. With about 2,900 members, they have the most league bowlers in Minnesota. I'm slamming it tonight. And it's not hard to figure out why. They get a good bowling condition and they can score high. And who doesn't like to score well when they're bowling? You know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Why people can score high or very well here is because we maintain our lanes pretty darn good. Cleaning them, oiling them, um, keeping them consistent so you know exactly what your bowling ball is going to do. Which means not only do average bowlers like myself get a boost, good bowlers can go for perfection. We had 583 300 games here as of today, this morning. The first one was actually done by a lady named Esther Haluza in 1981. She was 70 years old. And uh, I think that was great. 70 years old shooting 300, I don't care who you are. Brent Prentice has a few records himself on what he calls the wall of frame. And though his competitive spirit still gets the best of him, now it leads to charity. I like your style, dude. When Brent heard about our poll, he made a bet with the owner of Flaherty's Arden Bowl. Since I won, he has to give me 250 bucks, and I'm donating that, donating that to Kids and Kinship. And he has to wear my, sh my jacket that says Cedarville Lanes on it for a whole week. Brent is clearly a gracious winner, but when I started to get a taste of success on the lanes, it went straight to my head. Dear Uncle Donnie, I think you'd finally be in your element at Cedarvale Lanes in Egan. It was voted the best of Minnesota and I think a friend of yours would agree. The dude abides. The dude abides. From Minnesota, wishing you all the best, Matt. <laughs> now, before we came out to Egan for this story, Amelia challenged me to see if I could bowl a strike live on television. So we're going to give it a try here. I've only got one shot to do this. Come on now. Oh, not even close. Well, if you need practice like I do, you can come out to Cedarville here. A game during the week, Monday through Friday, is going to cost you three bucks. Evenings, weekends, and holidays are four bucks. And I should mention, there's more than just bowling here. They've got a pretty great restaurant as well with a killer Reuben and a nice, pretty popular Sunday brunch. So if you want to check that out, just come on down. Now, next week, speaking of...